Okay, bye bye. You have a nice nap now. Hello there, Mr. Guy. Yeah, now we have to fight one of them. <laughs> Surprised he has nobody. None of these guys have called for reinforcements and stuff. You know, because that would be like the smart thing to do. Then again, if we can take out three of them, we can take out any number of them, probably. Shut up with asked. Hello there, mister. What is it with these gangsters? I mean, seriously. They're like so pathetic. They can't fight at all. Isaac flipped the switch. <clears throat> Boom. And we are running into really weak enemies for some reason. And someone just leveled up, but I didn't see who. What is this? Hey look, a treasure chest. Power bread. Let's see, who do we give this to? Mia. Wait. Wait a second. Never mind. I don't know what that talk about. And we have to work. Alright, now what we gotta do is push this box all the way down here so we can cross it into here and... Yeah! So we go in here and... What is this? Are we at the boss already? Hey look, it's Hammond. Is it time to eat? Who are you? Hammond. Ivan, is that you? These people, are they friends of yours? And it would appear your journey has begun, Ivan. I am a little late, but I have come to save you. You shouldn't have risked yourself, Ivan. Hold it right there. Dudampa! Sorry to interrupt your teary little reunion, Hammond. This must be your little rat, Ivan. You always did claim he'd rescue you. Look at him, he's just a child. But to think these kids could get this far. Hey, yeah, if we're just kids, what does that make your pathetic thugs? What kind of scum takes ransom money and then doesn't free his hostage? I see, so you've been extorting money from Leona, have you? 
Now we found Hammett, we'll be taking him home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Hammett is what I like to call my little money tree. You dirty scoundrel. Name calling won't help you. I'm not giving Hammett up. Did Ampo pull the lever? PULL THE LEVER, CRONK! <laughs> this little trap here marks the end of your good fortune. Yep, we're gonna have to fight a monster, aren't we? Alright, this is Toad Ampa. Uh, I believe he's water elemental, so he should be weak to fire, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Just a guess. Come on, Garrett. Yep, weak to fire. Alright, so just have Garrett spam his Ginny and uh, his Jin and his summoning and stuff. Have Mia heal, have Isaac and Ivan attack, and you're pretty much good to go. He's actually not that tough of a boss, if I remember right. Okay, maybe he is kind of a tough boss. <laughs> okay, come on. Alright, now I can summon Meteor! Dude, could you like aim it at the sun or something for even more longer summoning animation stuff? Because that would be like totally funny. Because it just takes so long and then it can miss. And yeah. Do you guys know what I'm making references to? Well, good for you. <clears throat> I mean, not that Final Fantasy VII is bad, I mean... I actually haven't played it. I haven't played very much of it, actually. I don't know if that means I suck or whatever, but yeah, I haven't played very much Final Fantasy VII, so sue me. Want to at least play Final Fantasy VI first, you know? Whoa! Yeah, I forgot he had that attack. Actually, I forget everything about this boss. So, um, what we want to do is have me heal him right away, because that is a smart thing to do. There. <clears throat> oh, we got him! Get it off me. How did Dompa get trapped under the monster? He tried to pull another dirty trick on you. When Dodampa saw the monster was losing, he tried to get behind you. Just a second longer and you'd have been history! You dirty snake. Dodampa, you are rotten to the core. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Now get this thing off of me. Get this thing off of me. I don't know, that thing looks awfully heavy for us kids to live. What should we do, Isaac? Should we try and move it? No! I agree. What do you think, Hammett? I 
think we have to try at least. Seriously? Seriously, guys? Mamma mia! He's just gonna pull another dirty trick on you. Like, seriously. I like how everyone's just making a big show of walking around. There, you should be able to get up now. I, I can't. Did you break your leg or something? It's not broken. I should be able to stand after a bit. Thank goodness. What do you mean, thank goodness? Didn't he just try to kill us? Thank you, Garrett. Can't we just forgive and forget? Dude, I'm gonna kidnap you, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Someone needs to... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Get a grip, you guys. <laughs> but Hammond is safe now, isn't he? Yeah, but do you really think Dodampo will reform if Hammond forgives him? Hmm, I wonder. How about Dodampo? He already said he wouldn't do anything. Of course he's gonna say that. He wants us to forgive him. What do you think we should do with him, Garrett? I say we kill him! We should lock him up here just like he did to Hammond. No! How can you be so cruel? Oh, and yet you have no problem being that cruel to Hammond. What should we do, Isaac? Should we lock the Dampa up? No! We should kill him! Just leave him here like this for a while. Dad. Dodapa, you pitiful wretch. I always told you that if you did evil to others, others would do evil to you. You must write all of the misdeeds you've done. I feel bad for spoiling you. Look at the trouble it has caused. See, it's all your fault that all this happened. Yes, which is why this is going to hurt you more than it does me. You're not serious, are you, Dad? I most certainly am. You're going to spend some time here thinking about all that you've done. Dodampa is causing all sorts of trouble, hasn't he? No, not at all. <laughs> I must apologize deeply for all of this. <coughs> Thank you, Dampa, but you do not need to apologize. Can you forgive me? I am sorry about the trouble, but I do have one request. A request? I don't know how you got in here, but please leave by the same means. Huh? Dumpa, didn't you just say you're going to lock up Dodampa? So we shouldn't have to sneak around, should we? So and Dodampa's henchmen are still loyal to him. I'm ashamed to say it, but they won't listen to any of my orders. This new gang of thieves will attack Hammond if they find him in the fortress. And they may come to check his cell, right? I see. Then they'd free Dodampa, wouldn't they? And then he gets straight for Kalei, seeking his revenge. I see. Yes, you're right. It would be terrible if Kalei were attacked. That's why you must go while you still can. <clears throat> you mean immediately? I heard of your intrusion, so I spread some rumors through the fortress. Rumors? I said Brigand said snuck in to kidnap Hammett, but failed and ran off. Why in the world did you do that? 
Now they won't let anyone down here at all. Plus, many of Dodonta's men have left to find the intruders. Dodonta, you are a shrewd one. I just thought I tried to help however I could. With Dodonta's henchmen gone, this is our chance to escape, right? Yep. Next time you meet Dodonta, he will be a changed man. I get it already! I won't do anything wrong! Come on, let me go! <clears throat> See ya. Alright, but first we are going back in. Isaac, don't be stupid. We can't go in there, remember? Or not. Alright, guess we're going through the cave. Isaac flipped the switch. Hey, who's that? I think I saw someone just now. Yeah, I saw something too. Do you think Dodonta's henchmen have found us? They have. We'll have to take care of them right now. Justin, is that you, Boomza? That voice! It's Hammond! So, Dodonta never had any intention of releasing Hammond? That's right. That's why Ivan and his friends came to the rescue. Once Isaac made up his mind, we all decided to come save Hammett. Hey, Ivan, are you saying all that this was all Isaac's idea? Yep. No, I mean, you and Mia helped us too. Thank you, Isaac, Garrett, and Mia. And of course, you too, Ivan. You sure did a good job finding us cave, Boonza. Yes, impressive work you did, Boonza. It was pure coincidence. I really didn't want to come to Limpa. Because we knew the thieves had Hammett imprisoned. Then why did you come here? I recall what Hammett told me about being a su successful merchant. Really? He told you that you should start trading in Limpa? No, I meant his more general words of wisdom. Merchants much, must not judge customers on their appearances. Do not avoid a place just because something unpleasant may happen. As long as customers await your goods, you must do everything in your power to sell to them. So, you came to serve the villagers even though you despised Dodampa? They put this opportunity before you. But why did you think a Kalei merchant would be permitted into Lumpa? I didn't, and in fact, they would not let me in. Yet, knowing that, you still came. But you know what? There's that huge commotion, right? It must mean the activity caused by Dampa's rumors. What came together for me? That commotion was related to Hammett. I had to find out what was going on. And that's how you found this cave? I bet you couldn't find any way to get that gate open from this side. Then all of a sudden it moved, so I hid behind a rock. We startled you, didn't we? <coughs> I'm just glad you were able to get Hammett out safely. Why'd you say it like that, Pinza? Dodonpa's henchmen have been calling the area. Even if they aren't after Hammett, if they find him, they might capture Hammett again. Let's get out of here, quickly! But we have to escape without being seen by Dodonpa's henchmen. What should we do, guys? Should we stay and fight? Hmm, I have a different idea. Taking them all on is more foolhardy than invading their fortress. Then what should we do, Boonza? I have a wagon nearby. A wagon? That's right, let's all go back to Kalei in my wagon. Won't the wagon stand out if it were searched by Dodampa's henchmen? There's no need to worry, I've been here since before a commotion. Right, they've already seen your wagon around. That's correct, Garrett. They don't suspect me of being involved. Then let's take that wagon to Kalei. Should we arrive in the wagon too? Yeah, sure, why not? Do you have any unfinished business? Are you saying you still have some things to do here in Lopa? Yes, meaning you won't ride in the wagon? I'm sorry, Isaac, but I cannot safely wait here any longer. 
so do you intend to stay and finish your business? If you insist, then I'll stick with you. Hey, I can't leave you two here by yourselves. I'll stay behind, too. Damn it, I'm going to go with Isaac, too. Yes, Ivan, you should accompany your friends on this mission. I'm disappointed we can't travel home together, but I understand. Be careful, Ivan. They're gone. No time when boots and they get too close yet. They'll be okay. I'm sure I'll make it there in one piece. Well, let's get going ourselves, Isaac. We're off. Alright, moving on. We have one last thing to do in, get here in Lupa. Alright, so going back into Danpa's room. Danpa is very grateful for what she's done. Thank you for your help with Dodanpa. I have a little something for you for teaching Dodanpa his lesson. Give these people a token of my gratitude. Deep within there is an interesting creature that I fought once long ago. We got a Mercury Jenny. And with that, I think we've just about had enough. So if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up top. Give me a thumbs up down below this video and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2. I will be seeing you later.